do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hey students today we are studying chapter human skeleton and in that we are studying topic saddle joints now if i talk about saddle joints they are the joints that are present in your thumb so how does saddle joint work and what are their functions and how they move today we'll be studying that now saddle joints are present in your thumb region or your carpo metacarpal joints are also termed as saddle joints now with your thumb what are the actions that you can do yes you can move them to and fro moving side by side is almost impossible you can make a circular angle with it saddle joint now saddle joints basically represent the saddle that's kept on the horse back whenever you are riding and saddle back joints mechanism basically represents that now saddle joints are one of the examples of your synovial joints along with your ball and socket your hinge joints etc now in saddle joint what happens is that the articulating surface of one bones precisely is of saddle shape and each surface has both concave as well as convex area as similar to mirrors now each surface is convex in one plane and concave in the perpendicular plane of it it resembles condyloid joints in some manner but that basically allows greater freedom of movement or you simply say greater degree of movement now these joints precisely allow a biaxial movement wherever they are present saddle joint now as we have told that these joints of saddle joints have very evolutionary significance in human beings especially what happens is that it increases the grasping power of the fingers and helps in skillful things like writing painting and drawing the carpo metacarpal joint of your thumb is an example of this now students this is diagram of saddle joints you can see where the saddle joints are present I hope students were very clear with this concept of saddle joints. Thank you.